Hey there everybody, this is Captain J. Welcome to another video. Yes, this is going to be one more remake and honestly this video actually does need it really badly just mainly because of the change in sound quality from half of a clip to the other where it changed to my laptop and it just it sounded really bad so I decided to go ahead and remake it. Of course this is going to be how to get 100% in GTA for the Xbox 360. I'm sorry, I'm not doing it for the Xbox One, only for the Xbox 360. Also, I'm gonna be using an RGH Corona. That means that this is a modded Xbox 360 and you will see me using mod menus. That doesn't matter, it's not going to affect the end result. Also, the couple things that you will need is your USB formatted to FAT32, Horizon, which is an application that I will be providing the link down in the description. The 100% save file, which I will leave the link down in the description for you to download it. And your profile, whichever one you're going to use. It doesn't matter whichever you decide to use, even if you, if you just create a random uh, like offline profile just to test this out. It doesn't matter you're still going to use or need uh, one of your profiles so of course before we start one more thing a quick disclaimer first and foremost the music in this video does not belong to me it was uploaded to youtube with the tag of non-copyrighted music also this video is not sponsored by anyone so without taking any more of your time let's get into the video yeah. Yeah. Okay, before I start, I'd like to show you and go over to my storage and the hard drive in the games, GTA 5. There is one save profile here, but it is for Call Me Captain J. The profile that I'm going to be using is I Am Captain J. So that's two different ones. So what I'll do now is log in as I Am Captain J. And this is the file or the profile that I'm going to be using throughout. So I'll boot up GTA and just let it log in. So while it's loading, like I said, I will be using mod menus, which this will not affect the end result. So I'll go through the prologue real quick and then meet you back when I'm into story mode. Okay, and here we are, free roam story mode. As Franklin, of course, I am using mods, just like I said earlier, but I wanted to show you guys that the I have no saved file on here at all whatsoever well besides the auto save which will happen now so let me pause the menu I'll go to game really quick and then replay mission you can see prologue and then of course Frank Franklin and Lamar if I go to load it is the only one that's here the 1.6 percent so now let's go and add the modded save file but before I forget of course I have to transfer my profile to a USB so I've already uh, plugged in the USB now I'm going to transfer my I am Captain J profile over to the USB and here we are good now let's open up horizon real quick over on the PC and here we go so here is the USB and here is my I am Captain J profile and over here I have the save profile or the save file for GTA 5, the 100%. All right, move this over here this way real quick, and yeah, there's all the information on it. Pop this up real quick. Go to game profiles, drag and drop. Here we go. Now, I've already shown how to copy and paste everything, but it is very simple. You can just go to profile ID, device, and console and copy it from your profile ID over to the saved 100% profile or save file save game that's that's it very simple and once you're uh, set and done with you can go to save now that it's saved we can go ahead and inject that file onto our USB so open the uh, device explorer go to inject file I'm gonna look for one my 100% saved file here we go Press open and then of course I choose I am Captain J just to double check and make sure everything is done correctly. 
and give it a couple of seconds and there we go it's injected now let's jump over to the xbox 360. with the usb plugged in back into the 360 go to settings and then storage go to usb and press y and then transfer content to the hard drive games and apps is the save file that we just put in and then profile of course our game profile and then go ahead and press start and then just let it finish up transferring over to the hard drive and here we are over in GTA 5 once again as soon as you try to do anything of course it's gonna ask you to select a device where you want to save because why it's at a hundred percent already so if you got into this point congratulations um, it has been a long and hard journey <laughs> I would just imagine how long it would actually take somebody to do the 100% which whoever did thank you so very much because you've allowed us to be able to have a 100% completed GTA 5 on the Xbox 360 so as you can see there's only two save files and they are both auto saving from Find the Frontier. The reason why is because I actually went ahead and deleted the auto save on Franklin and Lamar. I have chose to delete it so I wasn't here anymore. So anyway, one of the main reasons as to why we came here, we have to go and look or see the UFOs. I have all of their locations, so if you want to uh, continue watching the video so you can see all three of the UFOs within GTA, let's go watch them. Of course, the best, most well-known one is over at Mount Chiliad. This guy usually comes around, I believe, around 3 o'clock in the morning between 12 and 3 somewhere around there and it has to be thunder and rain so I've managed to pause the time I did have it in thunder earlier I didn't record it but there we go so this is the most easiest one to see now there's one over at Fort Zancudo while uh, I was over here in Fort Zancudo I had a couple of jets trying to come after me but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn off the music so you can hear the weird sounds that it makes. You have entered for Zancudo airspace. Divert immediately. Yeah, needless to say, that was kind of creepy and it also um, like shut off the engine on the helicopter. Um, I know I could have probably used a jet, but to get something really, really steady just to go up there and see it is a little bit difficult. And just the weird sounds, that was it was kind of creepy, I'm not going to lie. But still, I mean, I had never personally seen this one. Um, I thought that, um, that it was a modder who had actually made it before because I spawned this specific uh, UFO at the airport before using a mod menu so I thought it was um, a modder who had made it and come to find out I've never seen it before in the game and I was a little bit just kind of not weird out or creeped out I was very surprised and you know happy to see that there's still little things uh, that can be discovered in GTA now of course this is an old uh, Easter egg that um, was found years and years and years ago but you know very very few people have seen it so i'm happy to share this with you so let's um let's now go over to uh sandy shores there's a little um sort of a ufo little uh shrine i believe and that's i guess that's what i'll call it but anyway let's go see it so you can see what it is all right so this is the location right here that way i'll focus it in so you can see where it's at very very close to sandy shores and right under me is a little alien uh, little shrine village thing that i was talking about earlier so i, I would call this a shrine because it's basically it's just for an alien i don't know if it would be the alien park or i don't know beam me up yeah that's a dead giveaway so let's go straight up into the air and find this ufo All right, here we go. Getting to just about max altitude. There is the UFO literally right over top of me. Look at that white light. 
cool. <laughs> now it did kill my engine again, but thankfully, luckily, I have um, mods or mod menu, so I can just as easily press on fix vehicle so that way I can go straight back up again now I did lose a little bit of altitude but still it is um, right uh, right like right around here this is where he should be there he is so there it is that's the third and last um, UFO that's been found in GTA of course like I said years and years and years ago but just to show you like I said because of the modded uh, save file now you are able to see all three of the UFOs whenever you want to whenever you feel like uh, Coming and seeing them. So anyway, I got one last little trick that I can show you and for that I'm going to teleport over to uh, LSIA real quick and with the magic of mods Boom here we go <laughs> This is one of the UFOs. Now, I have super jump and super run, but he doesn't jump um, high enough to reach the top, so I'm going to just teleport up to the top real quick. Well, I ended up using no clip instead of teleport because it just teleported underneath of it. So, <laughs> just got up here. Here it is. Uh, unfortunately, you can't fly it, drive it, or anything like that. Um, there's a couple of mod menus that actually allowed you. You can actually be like in a motorcycle and this will be like around you sort of force field. Um, now this mod menu is called Purge and Purge has been around for I don't know, a decade now. Hard to say how long it's been out. It's just been out almost as long as the game has I believe. Just as soon as it got um, the game got modded I believe Purge was released. So anyway, uh, last couple of words. Quick. If you want to find out or know um, how I modded my Xbox or what kind of Xbox 360 modded RGH I have or how you want to learn how to do the stuff that I did, I do have videos on it. I've got quite several of them. I've made videos explaining the very basics um, and then, you know, intermediate. And then a little bit more into not it's not expert because I'm not an expert on them, but a little bit higher than intermediate. Every step of the way, I took great care to give you as much detailed information as I could, and I even went back and remade them two or three times just to make sure that they were just perfect. I always tell all my viewers and subscribers to, you know, ask any questions if you have any. Um, look over on my recently made videos if you want to see you know what other stuff I've been making and any question that you have I'll be more than happy to answer for you so you know don't hesitate to ask me a question just in case um, nobody has answered that for you before so anyway thank you so very much for watching if you have any problems issues concerns uh, if you're stuck on any just anywhere at all don't hesitate to comment because I will try to answer you as fast as I can and give you the most up-to-date information and just try to help you along the way whichever way you're stuck doesn't matter just let me know like I said so anyway thank you guys so very much for watching this was Captain J and I'll see you on the next one peace